This video explains how to read the vernier scale on the travelling microscope in the Newton's rings experiment. Suppose you've lined up the crosshairs smack bang in the middle of a dark ring. That means the ring has a certain thickness, the dark bit has a certain thickness and you've managed to get the crosshairs right in the middle of that dark bit. And you want to find the position of the crosshairs. Well, you do that by looking at the vernier on the travelling microscope. Here is the main scale. It's marked off in centimetres. Nine, 9.5, 10, 10.5, etc. It is also marked off in millimetres. There's 9.1 millimetres, 9.2, 9.3 millimetres, 9.4, 9.5 millimetres. There are also half millimetre marks. So, 9.00, 9.05, 9.05, 9.10, 9.15, 9.20, and so on. To find the current position of the crosshairs, look at the zero mark of the fine scale. This is the fine scale, and there's the zero, there's the zero mark. It's positioned, in this case, between 9.55 and 9.60. Write down those two numbers because the final number you get has to be bigger than 9.55 and smaller than 9.60. So I write them down, I've written them down like this. The final number is going to be bigger than 9.55 and smaller than 9.60. Next, find the mark in the fine, on the fine scale that lines up most closely with a mark on the main scale. So actually, um, I've used the telescopic sight, or the little, um, this, 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 this little eyepiece, to find which one it is. I can't do it on, I can't show you on the video camera, but you can use this eyepiece in the laboratory uh, because it gives you a really nice, clear view of the marks. So the, the mark in the fine scale that most closely matches a mark in the main scale is this mark here. It's the 30th one along, 30. So you need to add the digits 30 to 9.55 to get a number less than 9.60. So your final reading is going to look like this. You need to add to your original reading, 9.55, the digits 30, such that the answer is less than 9.60. And the only way to do that is to add the 3 to, the, to this last 5 here. So you get 9.580 in this case. And that's the final position. That's the position of the crosshairs. 9.580 centimetres along. So you can see how amazingly accurate this is. And if you've done everything correctly in, um, in the experiment, uh, you can get as I've said in the other video, 
you can get the um, wavelength of the light accurate to within 10 to the minus 9 meters, which is pretty amazing. It's not bad for a device, the vernier scale, which was invented in 1631.